Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Track Manager in Reaper. Now to open the Track Manager, we'll go to the View menu and go down here to Track Manager. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut. On PC, it's Control, Shift, and M. And on Mac, it's Command, Shift, and M. And it's a little quicker to use the keyboard shortcut. Trigger it, and the Track Manager opens up. And it looks like this, which is a complete overview of all our tracks, as we can see right here. We can do many different things right in this window. We can change the track color, the track name. We could choose if we see the track in the track control panel or the mixer. We could see it now in the track control panel and the mixer. We could hide it from the track control panel right here and from the mixer right here. And we could also mute it so it takes up no CPU processing. We can also see the effects on the track right here, add new ones down here, the input effects, PDC, track offset, put the track into record, take it out, or solo it. All from this window. So let me give you an example where it's really useful to hide and show tracks. Let's scroll down to the vocal. Let's say our singer wants to record another pass, but we still want to save this one. We could select the track and duplicate it. Let's delete the audio on it. Then we can mute this track and then record a new pass for the singer. And maybe he's happy with it. And we want to make that one a keeper or take pieces from this one. But either way, we still want to save this track in case you want to use it later. But we don't want to see it in the track control panel all the time because we're not using it. Or in the mixer. Right here. So instead, we'll select the track, open up the track manager, find the track right here, hide it from the track control panel, hide it from the mixer, make sure we mute it so it doesn't take up any CPU processing, and then we're done. We don't see that track in the track control panel or in a mixer, but it's still in the project. So if you want to go back and use it again, just open the track manager and view it in the track control panel and the mixer and unmute it just like that. Then we have the old vocal to choose from. So that's one example of hiding and showing tracks. And here's another great example. I have a project in front of me here with three MIDI tracks playing a piano part, and they're all being sent to this piano plugin track. Here's the virtual instrument plugin on that track. But we don't really need to see this track in the track control panel because there's no MIDI or items to work with. And at the same time, if we go to the mixer, we don't really need to see our MIDI tracks in the mixer because we're not going to adjust them from here. We're just going to adjust the piano virtual instrument plugin track from here. So we could hide the MIDI tracks from the mixer and the piano plugin track from the track control panel. So let's do that in the track manager. Open it up, and then we could hide the piano plugin track from the track control panel and the MIDI tracks from the mixer just by dragging them. So if we close this, we don't see our piano plugin track in the track control panel because we don't need to. And if we go to the mixer, we don't see our MIDI tracks. Again, because we're not going to adjust them in the mixer. We're just going to adjust the piano plugin track where the audio is playing back. So it just keeps things a lot neater. Now we could also use the filter up here to filter out our tracks to find them a lot easier. Let's type in vocal. Now we just see the tracks with vocal in their names. The lead vocal, vocal reverb, and we could hide and show our tracks just like this, or readjust our effects 
right from here, or solo the lead vocal from here. Let's type in GT for guitar, and just the tracks with GT in the name show up. So we can select them all from here and quickly mute all the guitars, put them in record, or solo them, all from this window. So the filter really comes in handy. Then we can go down here and freeze our tracks to mono, stereo, or multi channel, again, right from this window. And if we go to the options menu, we can quickly delete our tracks from here as well. And we could also choose to mirror the track selection. Combine that with scroll to select the tracks when mirroring selection. And we can jump around very quickly using the filter like this. Let's type in background vocals. And all the background vocal tracks show up. But if we select them from here, a track control panel jumps to those tracks and it selects them the same way it selects them over here. So we can quickly treat this as a temporary group, change the volume of all the background vocal tracks this quickly by creating a temporary group like this. And of course, we could still go into record or solo the vocals or mute them right from here. But by choosing to mirror them, it's going to jump to that track just by selecting them in the track manager. Very useful. And we could also just see the tracks we put in the filter. Go to the options again and choose hide filtered out tracks in track control panel. Then we can just type in background vocals. And now we're just going to see the background vocal tracks in the track control panel. Nothing else. Or we'll type in guitar, same thing, or vocal. And we just see in the track control panel those tracks. So it's a great way of filtering and just seeing the tracks you want to see. And we can do the same thing in the mixer. Right down here, hide filtered out tracks in mixer. So if we open up, the mixer, we're just going to see these tracks. Type in guitar, and we'll just see the guitar tracks or the background vocal tracks. So it's a very quick way of just seeing what we want to see temporarily because we can clear our filter to put it back or turn off the options right here. So as you can see, the track manager is very powerful. It gives us an overview of all our tracks, all in one window. So that's pretty much it. That's the track manager in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.